Hello everyone and welcome to Cars of Holland YouTube channel. Today I'm with Elko and with his Cupra Born that he added two weeks ago, so enjoy his uh, interview. This is navigation, uh, connected it with my phone because I prefer the uh, navigation of my phone instead of the uh, one uh, which is in the car. Another nice feature of this car is, um, for example, every morning, when you want to get in your car, um, you can put the heat already on. It's possible to do it automatically, but also with the app on your uh, your phone. And another thing is quite nice, the drive profile of this car. You've got four options. Option one is the range. So it's, it's, it's sort of a economic way of driving the car. This one is for com comfort. And this one is performance, and performance means, of course, it will accelerate a little bit faster than uh, usual. Normally, 0 to 100 will be in around 8 seconds, and if you choose for the performance, it's 1 second, maybe 2 seconds uh, faster. Um, this car is uh, this is for the radio, this is connecting uh, with the phone, and this one is for the original. Um, you have to tap it twice normally and it's the regular uh, navigation this car is a brother or sister of the ID3 and this one I prefer because it's looking much better much more sportive but it's also a lower the little uh, millimeters uh, to the um, to the deck so it drives really better and for example if you're in front of an ID3 it look like you're uh, in front of a, a Volkswagen <laughs> up and this car looks really really uh, really good and why did you choose Cup Cupra Born uh, because it looks better and they said it would be uh, a better driving car in, uh, com in comparison with the uh, ID3 I have had two ID3s and the first electric car was an uh, Tesla dual motor, um, but those cars are so expensive, um, it's 10, 15,000 euros more than uh, than this one, and it's really look nice looking car, it drives really great. So you say that it's not your first electric car, it right. was hard to, to switch to electric car? No, but it, 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 it's typical Dutch, I think, uh, electric cars it, it's a different way of driving and you have to think a little bit more about when you have to uh, uh, to charge the car um, but it's also much cheaper because it's a lease uh, uh, it, it's lease and that's much more cheaper because you have to pay extra for a lease car and they changed it and this car is, I've got it now for a few weeks but it's still um, registered in uh, the end of December so I've got the, the lower part of uh, payment instead of the higher one. And it's getting higher and higher. And I think within one or, or two years, it doesn't matter if you uh, choose an electric car or uh, one with a real engine. But although it's better for the environment, everybody says. And do you have more cars? Uh, yeah, it's the only I, car you have. No, 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 I've got another one. Um, but my daughter is now driving that car. <laughs> <laughs> Which car did you have? Um, it's an Opel Corsa. And half a year ago, she got a driver's license. So she's happy and she can drive. And you, you are also happy, right? Yeah. To, to enjoy this car. But it's, re it's, it's really driving uh, very nice, this car. It's looking good. I can have a range of about 330 kilometers with this car and that's normally sufficient uh, when you're living in Holland. Okay, here we go. What do you like the most? Um, the seats are great, they're really, really great. And the steering wheel, it really feels very, very good. And the way, the way it drives, it, 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 it's really fun. If you compare, for example, with the ID3, and I think everybody uh, does that, um, this part also is better. 
you've got more the feeling of you're, you're sitting in a cockpit. And if you've got, for example, the ID3, this is empty, it's more more open space. The space uh, in the back is also really great. I think you can compare it with a uh, Volkswagen uh, Passat. Uh, so that's a, a, a class higher. Um, but that's of course because of the, um, uh, the way they built uh, the car. And the stereo, the sound is also very good in this car. Do you have any regrets that you switch from Tesla to ID3 and now you, you drive the Cupra? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy with the Cupra. Cupra. Uh, to be honest, you don't see them that, that often in the Netherlands, but I think that will change in the near, near future. Um, the Tesla was a really great car. Uh, it was a dual motor, so four-wheel drive, re really, really great. But people who say Tesla is uh, BMW Mercedes uh, quality, that's not true. A few months ago, the BMW CEO said, yeah, Tesla is not a uh, premium car. Correct, it is not, and it's uh, typical American quality. Uh, look at every American car, they're, they're not built that well. But the way and the technique uh, of, 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 of the Tesla, it's, it's great if you want to update the Tesla. You are able to do that uh, by Wi-Fi. This car I don't know, but in the past when I had uh, uh, ID3, I had to update it at um, the dealer, and it took almost two days. So the electronica in the Teslas is really, really, really great, and the, the way they drive, but the quality outside of the car, how it's built, but also inside is not uh, not that well. In the past year, several years ago, I had a BMW, and that's really quality. And did you charge at home? Do you have like a charging station? Uh, yeah, I'll charge at home, but normally I charge at my uh, work and then within one hour the, uh, the battery is, uh, is loaded. Did you also try the Fastnet Tesla supercharger? Yeah, uh, I, 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 I've, I've tried them uh, all and also, very funny, at many McDonald's they have got uh, an option to, to load the car. To charge the car and that's also normally within uh, one hour. Um, I think in the near future charging will be an issue because there are not that many options to uh, to charge the car and there uh, will get more and more electric cars and the other day I read something that in the uh, in Noordwijk I think it was that somebody charged his car and after one or two hours when it was uh, charged fully, he uh, came back to get his car and he got a fine because m more and more often uh, local authorities are uh, getting giving fines for the people who stay too long at the charging uh, uh, poles. But I think it's normal, right? Because if you need also to charge your car but you see someone that is taking the place, you, you are like, ah, oh, come on. The other day, uh, when I was at a Fastnet location, I spoke with somebody uh, from Rotterdam, and they told me, he told me that in Rotterdam center, in one street, there are ten electric cars and only two options to charge. So they gave each other their uh, cell phone numbers. So if a car was uh, charged, they could call the other one to charge. So in, I think in the future it will be, uh, be, be getting more difficult. To, uh, to charge. Now also where I live here, there are people with four Teslas, ID3, uh, Audi Q4, Peugeot Electric, Mustang Mach-E, yeah. and it's only for a charging station. And I can imagine that. Now it's getting worse. And also, I don't know what will uh, happen in the future, but uh, is it possible in the Netherlands that the uh, electric uh, infrastructure um, is able to handle it? Because I think in 2030 or 35, I don't know, uh, they say uh, in the Netherlands it should be 100% electric but with cars. And I think that's uh, quite interesting. And I'm not sure it will happen. Thank you very much for your time, Elko. You're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment the video and also turn the notification on. See you soon.